Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We're in the kitchen making something quite easy. They say it's easy, but I don't know. I mean, I've always found pies to be difficult. They might be delicious, but they're possibly the most technical thing to make, and they take forever to make. Not anymore, though, because Clem is about to make it all easy and demystified for us, aren't you? And it is quite tricky, because normally you make your pastry. It's the pastry that part science that gets that me. you have to get right, and then it's the filling, got to make sure it's not too moist, not yes. too dry. It's crazy. This yeah, is a really... it's temperamental. You, you, yeah, you can make this tonight for dinner, and if you get everything right, you should be able to have dinner in half an hour with this pie. Ooh. Really, really easy. Maybe I'm even a quicker. I'm cook. Nobody has dinner in half an hour at my house. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one. This is the one. So in the pan, I've got some leeks. leeks. Very important. It doesn't matter if you buy the leeks that say washed already. Uh -huh. You wash them. All right? Biting on one grain of sand is the worst thing ever. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So even if it says washed, chop up your leeks. Chop, up, chop them up first. Then run them through some water to make sure there's no sand in there. Then, yeah, that's that's very important. Yeah. The other day I was juicing some celery and I found a tiny little tadpole caught in the celery. Ah, that's good. That means it's free range and organic and beautiful. I and then you put it in the juicer. No, though. no, no. You don't need that protein. <laughs> you don't need that protein. No. All right, cool. So, little trick. If you want to get your leeks to actually start sauteing a little quicker than normal, add a little bit of salt to it. Just like okay. with meat, it actually draws the moisture out and like it helps it steam a little bit as it cooks. Mm. Really, really cool fact mm. there. Then some mushrooms, right? So they can go in. I've just literally sauteed these off in a little bit of butter again, because we're not hating on the butter. I like the fact that we're doing a chicken and leek and mushroom pie, but you can use whatever you have left. Yeah, over I was about here. to say, you've got one little mushroom in there. <laughs> I don't know why chefs do this, but they always leave a little bit of ingredient in the bowl. Not and me. I learn, I scrape everything out. Not me. because me. I was raised being told, don't waste exactly. food. Exactly, I'll so take it all out. Children. <laughs> okay, cool. Then, so the idea is that you can use whatever leftover vegetable you had from yesterday. Okay. We don't have leftover roast chicken in our house. No. No. It's done okay. the first day. It's exactly. Cooked. So I'm not going to lie and be like, use your leftover <laughs> roast chicken. No. Yeah, you can you go to Willie's. Yeah, because you're doing it for TV. Exactly. No. Go to Willie's and get a rotisserie chicken. Yeah, get a fresh one. It's so good. It's so yeah. delicious. And they butter baste it. That's why. Okay. Mm. So you shred that chicken up. And then yeah. you add it in the pan. Don't tear it like into fine little bits. Keep it nice yeah, and chunky. chunky. You want to know okay. that you're eating chicken. And you're going to go a little bit of cream. Mm, look at that uh -huh. cream. That's going to come to a sizzle. Okay. And then again, salt and pepper. Because as soon as you add cream to anything, season it again. Because of the fact that it's in cream, it kind of stops your palate from tasting whatever else is going on in the pan. So season it from a height. Get it all in there. Salt yeah. bay, salt bay, salt bay. Salt bay. Salt bay. Mix it all through so you make sure the cream's in there, the mushrooms are in there, the leeks are in there. Why now, does it have to be from a height, though? So you get an even distribution of seasoning. Mm, I see. There we go. I see. There we go. Because if, you, if, you, if you're down here, that's then the part that's going to get. Corner. And then your mission is to make sure it gets everywhere. So rather just... Uh, you. Yeah. I like you. <laughs> I can stay. <laughs> you can and stay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Mix it all in there. Now we're going to spend another 45 minutes making some pastry quickly. Okay. All right. Now, I lie. No, no, <laughs> not in this kitchen and not on a Monday. No! no. I got some what phyllo pastry, phyllo, phyllo, whatever you want it? to call it. This is oh. it. By the way, I've got my, a brand new kitchen cloth that I've just lightly dampened. And this goes over because this and guy dries out very yeah. quickly. Okay, that's the trick. Yeah. So, off with you. And uh, people that like do the careful overlapping, not today. Just literally get it and scrunch oh. it all up. Because what's going to happen is all those little scrunchy bits are going to get nice and dark. Nice and crispy. And they're gonna get crispy. Yeah. And then. are gonna make it look all rustic. I like mm. it looking rustic. Also, Precious. it makes it look like you bought it at a deli. Look at that. Yes, it it's does. It's so beautiful. It then. Everything you make looks like you bought it at a deli. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. That's the trick. There we go. And some more butter. Uh huh. And all you're gonna do. Just like that. Just like that. Drizzle it over. Add a bit okay. of thyme to it. A little bit of salt if you want. Pop it in the oven. Everything's cooked already, so you're just trying to brown your pastry. You'll literally be eating in 10 minutes. Look at that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Done. Wow, thank you, Clem. I think I'm, I'm definitely going to try that when I'm feeling a little bit brave enough. <laughs> That's so easy. You can do it, totally. If you miss any of that, we've got a quick recap.